Hey guys, welcome to Entrepreneurship, and in this video I'm going to teach you how you can find never-ending video topics for your uh, YouTube channel. Now, before we begin, I think it's important that we define uh, what are the uh, two types of topics uh, for YouTube. Uh, now, the first type is the evergreen topics, and the second type are the trending ones. Now, the evergreen topics are defined by the fact that they will always be relevant. It doesn't matter the year, it doesn't matter the time of the year, these topics will always be relevant. The second thing is that they make you money over time. So when you publish your video with an evergreen topic, uh, you will probably not make money right away. These are the types of videos that make money over the course of uh, several months or even several years, all right? And that is why this is considered as a long-term strategy. Now, the trending topics is, well, pretty much the opposite. Um, they are time-sensitive because you are talking about something uh, like an event that happened fairly recently and you are trying to surf the wave of the trend. So, so you can make a lot of money very quickly with these trendy topics. But unfortunately, uh, the hype dies pretty fast because these are trending topics and they are time sensitive. Once the event has passed, um, they will no longer be relevant in a few months or even a few days. So you need to act fast. Now, the question now is, how do you find these topics? How do you find the evergreen topics and how do you find the trading topics? Um, now, for this, you use the big three, which are TubeBuddy, VidIQ, and Google Trends. Now, in this video, I'm going to teach you how exactly you can use these three softwares or three application to find never-ending topics for your YouTube channel or YouTube channels so that you can grow and succeed. So all the links for these extensions will be in the description down below. So without further ado, let's go. Now before we begin, before I teach you how you can find those uh, trending topics and the evergreen topics, uh, I highly suggest you to create a Google Sheet with uh, these uh, five columns. Uh, one with topics, one with where we're going to put the general topic of your uh, video, uh, the one where we're going to put the TubeBuddy tube body score, the VidIQ score, and the Google Trend score. Uh, and the uh, fifth and the last uh, column will be the title. Now, you need to understand that there is a big difference between uh, topics and title. Uh, the topics is kind of like the, the general, the general, uh, you know, subject of the video, but the title is uh, the the sentences that you're gonna put in the uh, you know video title that will basically push uh, the viewers to click on your video. So it needs to be clickbaity and it needs to be interesting enough for the, the people to be interested uh, to click on your video. Now, um, in this video, I'm not gonna uh, show you how you can do that. I'll probably uh, make a separate video uh, showing you how you can create a good clickbaity title for your video. Uh, but in this video, we're just gonna uh, concentrate on these four uh, columns. So let's start with uh, showing you how you can find uh, evergreen topics. So for this, I use uh, I start by using uh, TubeBuddy, and one of the tools that TubeBuddy has is called the Keyword Explorer. So Keyword Explorer is a, is an absolutely amazing tool to uh, to find uh, related topics. So for example, let's say that your uh, YouTube channel is all about cats. Uh, let's say that you make videos about cats, their behavior, and uh, stuff like that. So you start by typing cats in the field click on explore and it says it gives you like a score here and here it says that it's poor it's like 19 out of 100 um, and the reason why is because apparently the competition for that keyword is extremely high so that's why it uh, it, la it rates that keywords poorly so your goal is of course trying to find a topic 
uh, in, some you know a succe succession of keywords that will basically uh, be as close as a hundred as possible. Um, now for this, all you need to do is basically click on video topics tab and it will give you like a huge list, huge list of, of uh, related video topics with the, the, the keyword that you typed in the, uh, the field. And basically all you need to do is basically click on one of the, on one of those titles to see what kind of results it gives you. Like for example, how cats give birth to kittens. And it says, oh great, it says excellent, it's a 87 out of 100. So that's a potentially a very good topic for you to make a, to make a video on. Uh, it says that there is a good, a fairly good search volume, uh, low competition. So this is probably a very good topic that you can use for, uh, you know, a future video. And if you want more, you can just, you know, uh, go back and uh, take another one in the uh, video topics tab and you know keep on scrolling keep on choosing uh keep on you know trying to see what kind of score they can give you what cats think of humans for example what does it give you 43 so it's not as good but still fairly you know you can possibly make a video out of it if you want you know uh, so there is really like a huge selection of topics right just right there just by using just one simple keyword uh, so for this we're just gonna take the, the, the first one and uh, we're gonna take this and copy that uh, the topic and paste it into the uh, in the YouTube uh, search field and see on the right this is the VidIQ extension uh, that is basically giving me uh, a lot of information about this uh, this topic uh, for example, uh, what kind of highest views, uh, what kind of videos has the highest views compared to the title, um, the average views, subscribers, stuff like that. Um, now, it also gives you a score that you don't necessarily need to really pay attention to that score because usually it's not exactly the same. I mean, you can see like for this, uh, VinIQ gives you a 26 out of 100 where uh, Team Bunny gives you an 87. Uh, like in my experience, uh, usually uh, TubeBuddy is uh, a little bit uh, closer to the truth uh, when it comes to uh, the, the, the score. Uh, but you can still see that like, the volume is still pretty good, still fairly, fairly decent. Uh, you don't necessarily need to get like a hundred for this to, to have a good, uh, a good video. Now, the reason why we use uh, VidIQ is because it gives you a lot of uh, additional information that uh, TubeBuddy doesn't give you and that YouTube doesn't give you. And one of those information, for example, is the amount of subscribers that you can see here next to the um, YouTube channel name. And what we're gonna do with this information is we're gonna scroll and we're gonna try to compare uh, the amount of views to the amount of subscriber. So for, uh, the reason why I'm saying this is because if you see a video that has a higher view count than the amount of subscriber. That means that this video went viral and acquired a lot of a lot of views over a certain period of time. That means that something about this subject, some something about this topic, pushed people to click on it. That means that if you make a similar a, a, a video that is a, in a similar topic, you increase the chances of your video doing the same. So, for example, you see here. Uh, Lucky Poison has 1 million subscriber, yet his video about cat giving birth to 5 kittens has 126 million views uh, over the course of 2 years. Uh, now you can you can use this technique by just scrolling down and seeing uh, what kind of other subject you can find. For example here you have from you know Kitty Cat Soul Food uh, who has uh, 18,000 subscribers, yet this video has 580,000 views. That means that this video about top 10 signs your cat is in the neighbor, this video went viral over the course of these last two years. And that is one of the techniques that you can use to just find good topics for your uh, YouTube channel. Now, one other thing that you can do, for example, is use that same title. If you copy it and go to Google Trends and trying to see, for example, uh, what kind of results it gives you, always choose here worldwide in this last uh, five years and you don't choose a web search, although you can see that it's fairly, you know, fairly good. You need to choose YouTube search because we are on YouTube. And again, see, this is maybe 
not precise enough because it's maybe too niche. But here, there you go, it gives you like a good uh, overview that indeed this topic has been, you know, fairly stable. So if you make a video about this topic, it will always be relevant next year. It will always be relevant in two years. And this is the type of topics that you want to make your videos on because this is one of those strategies that you can use to grow your YouTube channel over the course of, of several years uh, just by making these, these, these type of videos. Now, to find trendy topics, it's actually fairly easy and you have uh, several ways of doing this. Uh, one of the ways that you can do this is simply using the Explore tab on uh, YouTube and trying to see what kind of topics come out in the, uh, you know, in the, in the, on the page. For example, you see here that uh, uh, Marvel Studios' new Thor movie is out. So if you are in the movies and series uh, uh, niche, you can make a video about, you know, the official teaser. If you are a sport uh, NBA fan, you can make a video about something like this. And one of the things that you can also use is by using, again, the Tubebuddy uh, Keyword Explorer because when you click on it, one of the first things you see is uh, a little section called what's trending. Now you can simply, you can even use uh, here the selection about your country. If you want to target, for example, news about uh, about Australia, for example, and if you want to make a, a video about exclusively for your uh, Australian niche, you can simply choose your country here and see what comes up. Or you can also use a Google trend and see what kind of trend come up and you can see here for example today for uh, United States uh, these are the types of topics that are uh, trending currently and you know you can just make a, a video about this kind of topic that you know will work because this is actual news uh, this is currently trending right now but let's say you're not in a niche where you talk about uh, celebrities or, or sports and let's say that you are still in the cat niche well by using the same exact principle as previously for the evergreen niche let's do it again with like the keyword explorer you use like cat for example, you can use, you know, simply cats. Maybe you can try video topics here, how cats uh, act. And you do a search on YouTube. And what you're going to do right now is that you're going to open the search filter and you're going to try to see, uh, you're going to sort by the uh, view count and also filter by either today or this week. For example, if you do this week, so by doing this, you now see that the videos are sorted by uh, the amount of views that they have over the period of seven days. And your goal now is to basically do the same thing that you did on the uh, evergreen topics, which is basically comparing the amount of views to the number of subscribers. Now you can see here, this is more news worthy. So it's maybe not the type of videos that you want to make, but this is just an example to, to show you exactly what you do the, the, the research, you see now that, you know, this video has 53,000 subscribers where the channel has over 150,000 subscribers. So that's probably not going to be a good video to make. And by using this technique, you can accurately determine what kind of videos are currently trending and what kind of topics that you can make right now. Now, obviously everything depends on your niche because if you are in the cat niche, I think it will be very difficult to find trending videos about cats unless you are making, you know, you are, you are in the niche where you talk about news about cat. Now, this could be something to explore if you want to, but if you are in a niche like, you know, cat behavior, you will probably try to concentrate more on evergreen topics that will make you views and money over the course of uh, several months or even several years. Now, if you are in the sports niche or, or maybe the news niche or the celebrity niche, you will probably want to make videos about trends, about trending topics, about news uh, about, about your niche. And that is why using the Google trend technique or the TubeBuddy trend technique is the basically the, the best way to find these, uh, the, these topics that will blow your, your, your videos and your channel and will help you grow over the course of your YouTube career. So yeah, there you go. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to smash the like button if you enjoyed the video. If you have any questions, you can just put the comment down below. And I'll see you soon. Bye.